Greetings champions and welcome to a very special episode of the Arkham Chronicle. We've got hold of some launch day product for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions the trading card game by British company Play Fusion. We're going to have a closer look at what's going to be available, how pretty it looks and maybe a sneak peek inside. But do be aware that no one is allowed to reveal any card details or any spoilers or anything like that. So this video has to be a spoiler free unboxing. That means we're not going to show you the fronts of any cards, discuss the rarity levels or name any names. Do be aware of that before we go ahead. If you're down with that, then open your eyes nice and wise and drink in this lovely goodness. Like most collectible card games, there are starter decks and booster packs. Each of the four starter decks is tied to a particular faction and contains everything you need to get started playing that faction. And the booster packs contain 13 random cards that could be from any faction or suitable for all factions. And like trading cards, these are in different levels of rarity. So some cards, usually the more powerful ones, are going to be harder to track down. And this is also a game with foils, so some of your cards will be shiny and look extra special. But don't forget, we can't show you anything like that today. Let's give you a quick tour of the starter boxes. As you can see, they all have completely different artwork on them. They have different faction symbols, different colours, and even the background art at the bottom is different. Obviously, there are different pictures on the front, along with the faction name. All of them come with a hole for peg mounting in the store, and they do freestand as well. And surprisingly, even the blurb on the back is different. There are different decks illustrated, different exclusive cards, there's a different game going on, and obviously you see the different colour counters for each faction. The boxes are a little larger than we were expecting, measuring five and a bit inches by almost four inches, and more than an inch wide. For reference, this is a standard Fantasy Flight Games living card game pack, and this is a standard size game card. It says you get a 38 card deck which is ready to play out of the box, a 13 card booster, and a card which is exclusive to your faction. There's a campaign mat, health counters and detailed rules sheets. Sheets, plural, meaning more than one. And although it promises that the digital TCG app is out now, this will be slowly releasing throughout August in stages. So hold your horses. Well, internet, do you want the starters first or the boosters first? Shout louder, we can't hear you. Let's see what we can do about opening this thing, shall we? This pops up. And here is our first look at the booster pack. As you can see, they are metallic with beautiful artwork on the front. They look to be all the same design and they are silver all the way around. There isn't a box topper on the top. And there isn't one underneath either. Rather interestingly, nowhere on the packaging does it tell you how many boosters come in a box. Nowhere, not a sausage. But R1 contained 12 booster packs. And we've got another 12 for free. As you can see, they are very shiny indeed. It tells you that there are 13 cards for this augmented reality trading card game. There is no mention of the rarity distribution or any clues as to the contents. Not even under the flap. Shall we open one up? Which one do you want to see first? Well, let's start off alphabetically. There are flaps at the top and the bottom, both of which appear to be glued down. So we'll have a go with the bottom, like so. <gasps> World's first. Okay, looks like we've got a sealed pack of cards in there. Uh, we've got, oh, maybe the rule sheets. And something exciting in the middle. Having dumped out the contents, you can see inside the box, a little flap has been glued in like that, to stop the contents from rattling about and getting damaged. It's this kind of attention to detail that really gives you confidence in a new game. You get a single rule sheet, which is the rule sheet which is available for download on the Warhammer Champions website. It is the same full colour on the front and black and white on the rear. You get a large blank sheet of paper for doing your own Warhammer fan art. On the other side of which is a lovely full colour playmat. An impressive feature is that each playmat is customised to their particular faction, which is great attention to detail. As well as the playing area with your four lanes and your three rows, you've got your life tracker around the outside, space for your deck, and your discard, and there are four rule summaries. You've got an explanation of highlighting, which is one of the fundamental mechanics of the game. You've got a summary of your champion's quest icons, the entire turn phase summary here, and what your special units, i.e. Chaos, look like. As well as the Chaos Champions, having these icons, only the Chaos will also have those icons as well. 
the map measures almost 14 inches but not quite by 25 inches which is slightly wider than standard playmat size as you can see here a fairly standard looking booster pack and this wadge of shrink wrapped cards which also contains your health tokens here let's pop those out there is a seam in the shrink wrap but there is no pull tab you'll have to get a finger under the flap like so and it just makes a weak point so Bob's your uncle and new cards Woo! here is the smallest punch board we've ever seen with only two counters on it both are the same on this side but you've got a choice of two different artworks on the reverse but let's face it you're going to lose one straight away here is a close-up of the card back don't they look fabulous get these into a sleeve straight away and what you probably won't be able to see is the texture on the back of the cards basically the gold areas and the runes here have been picked out it's a printing process known as uv spot gloss so you can see they are slightly raised and slightly shiny again another excellent attention to detail feature well we're not sure how much we can reveal at this stage we definitely can't show you the cards till after August the 2nd. But in our Chaos Starter deck we got 31 Chaos Specific cards, 7 neutral cards that could be played by any faction. We got a reference card which was unique to the Chaos faction, which listed only the keywords which were relevant to them, which is great, and also had a picture of their unique demon iconography on it. And finally we have a digital booster card, which is a voucher for in-game goodies. When the app launches, simply get you and your friends to scan it in and you will receive in-game rewards. How nice is that? Join us on August the 2nd when we will take great pleasure in revealing the fronts of these cards and explaining more about the rarity system. The contents of all the starters is pretty much identical. So rather than laboriously opening every single box, we'll just give you the highlights of the things that are different, notably the playmats and the counters. This is the death faction in a lovely ashen grey. There's your vampire unit symbol. Again, it's a common fetching pale green symbol on the front. And we've got some purpley goodness on the back. And for order, you've got Sigmar's Croquet Mallet on the front. Yes, 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 we're just kidding. We've got Hammer on the front, quite pleasingly, two designs on the back. This is your order playmat in a lovely grey. Note the icon for your Stormcast units. And this is the Destruction Mat in a lovely orky green. And there's your Orc symbol with too many R's. And there's the Destruction symbol from the front and on the back. So in summary, your starter box contains a deck of 38 cards ready to play, a sealed booster of 13 cards, double-sided quick rules sheet, faction-specific playmat, and two double-sided counters. Right, that's it everyone. Time to shove off because we've told you everything we can tell you and shown you everything we can show you. Come back in August for some exciting exposing. As these packs are so beautiful, we will leave you with a nice slideshow to whet your appetite. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Any questions not about what's on the front of the card, obviously. See you tomorrow, champions!